Good morning, everyone. I'm so excited to come your way this morning and to bring the child psychology tips to you. Uh, for the next three days, I'm going to be focusing on something that is very important. And the title is Three Things Every Child Needs to Try or Flourish. Uh, this topic is so important because these three things are uh, every child's psychological need. Just the same way we have our biological need like food, sex, you know, need for shelter. Every child has psychological need that if they are not met, the child becomes unhappy and it begins to affect other areas of their life. Uh, we need to begin to move children from the position where they are being controlled to the point where they are becoming self-determined. When we talk of self-determined, we are simply saying that the child is able to make his or her own choices, you know, and the child is able to grow. When these needs are met, the child, child flourish, they get, become uh, they blossom and they also begin to try. But when these needs are not met, the child becomes frustrated, the language and begin to grow weak. And the first need I'll be talking about today is autonomy. When we talk about autonomy, we are talking about uh, the need to feel in charge of one life. Every child wants to feel in charge. That is why you see when a child is in that third level stage, you discover that they are beginning to get self-aware and explore the environment. So they want to do so many things by themselves. You see them, they will tell you they want to wear their shoe by themselves, eat you know, by themselves. They want to wear the cl their clothes by themselves. Whenever you are trying to help them, they say common words that they use. They say no, 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 no. Why? Because they are beginning to gain that sense of autonomy, that sense of, okay, I can become independent now. You know, so but when you, we make you know choices for them, it begin to affect them in every area of their life. It also begin to affect their autonomy. Uh, but when you create an environment where they are able to make the choice by themselves, what you need to do is just your supervision. That is why there's a difference between autonomy and independence. Independence is when you allow a child to be doing something without you and supervising the child. You just allow the child to do it. You know, because they are still uh, because uh, they are their children. They will definitely make mistake or do something that we all them. And you're, what you need at that point is to begin to create that environment where you begin to supervise what they're doing. But when we talk about autonomy, autonomy is like you allow them to make choices, to do certain things they want to do, but with your supervision and your guidance. You remember children will get to a point, you know, where there are important events in their life. For instance, where they are beginning to exploit their autonomy, they want to brush their teeth, just create the environment for them to be able to see how they do it, why you help or support, you know, or provide that supervision for them. One thing is very important, if we keep making choices for children always, it will affect their self-esteem, it will affect their self-confidence. Also, you will see that some of them will find it difficult to take risks and in the long run, they will become unhappy. Your responsibility is to create an environment where you encourage them to try new things while you supervise and guide them so that they can become, when they become adult, they are able to take initiative, they are proactive, and also they are creative. Thank you. Tomorrow I will talk on the second uh, thing every child needs to try. Thank you.